Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Tuesday, the 23rd of April, St. George's Day. And the FTSE celebrating that uh, milestone with uh, a new record, uh, hitting that resistance line there from December 8060. In fact, the high, uh, a bit higher than that, uh, 8076. And a day close above that uh, December resistance line, 8060. And we could be looking at... Uh, 82.60 at that uh, upper parallel of the January resistance line by the end of next month or even sooner. On the downside, I suppose the obvious support would be uh, 79.80 just below the uh, psychological 8,000 level and then back down to uh, the previous support there around 78.80. But uh, at the moment, we are facing north rather than facing south. Moving on to the DAX, uh, which I noted earlier this morning, was up 1%. Uh, here we've had a bear trap rebound from below the 50-day uh, moving average. That's currently around 17,700. I'd like to see an end-of-day close above that April resistance line there, around 17,900, to then give us the chance of a retest of uh, the uh, turn of the month resistance and record highs at 18,500 by the end of next month. The RSI pushing back above neutral 50 which is a help to the cause moving on to the Dow and uh, here fears that the market might uh, have to test the 2024 support zone at 20, 37,000 so far have been a bit too pessimistic in fact we've had a bear trap rebound from below the February support of 38,000 above that but looking for the 50 day line 38,800 best case obviously would be a retest of the uh, record highs just below 40,000 by the end of next month. On the downside, we always have that threat of uh, testing 2024 support. Moving on to Bitcoin, and uh, we're still recovering from the halving. Uh, the market bouncing, or well, giving us a bear trap uh, just from but just below 60,000, and then failing so far at the 50-day line and at that March resistance line projection from uh, well around the 68,400 level above that. Looking for, obviously, the record highs. Best case here would be that uh, above the 50-day line, we head up to 80,000 by the end of next month. Worst case, 57 to 58,000, basically just uh, stopping out those long near 60,000. Moving on to gold, which uh, I heard yesterday had a bit of a rug pull. Um, here we had that uh, impossibly uh, steep rising trend channel from February, and uh, that was broken around the 2380 level below that there's the risk of 2330 but hopefully not much lower than that given that we've had that such a rug pull and obviously now we're trying to review exactly what the trajectory is of that rising February trend channel but uh, maybe we need to wait a few days for the dust to settle Moving on to the stocks, and uh, yesterday the message was that Avacta shouldn't uh, break back below the 45 pence level, which is that February support line. The problem with uh, being below 45 pence is that there's a risk of a retest of 2022 support, which actually was around 38 and a half pence. So uh, below 45 risks uh, 38 and a half. Otherwise, on the upside, if there is an upside ahead of the update from the company, Next week, uh, we need to break 46 pence on an end-of-day close basis, that resistance line, from the start of the year. And then that could give us a move up to the uh, upper 50s or so. But uh, at the moment, uh, the share is looking a little bit sickly and uh, also oversold, which hopefully will mean that uh, we ha still have a chance of breaking that uh, resistance line ahead of next week's update. Moving on to uh, chill, and uh, here you can see that... Um, the shares, I suppose, actually probably not doing quite as badly as you would expect, given the uh, news flow from yesterday. Well, that said, that we had a failed gap fill from um, the rally this month. We had actually hit our upside channel target there at uh, 3.6 pence before the shares uh, plummeted. Current situation is that we're seeing whether the shares can stay um, above the 50-day line at 2.3 pence. Otherwise, it'll be a journey down to the floor of that rising trend channel base from the end of January around the two pence level, but hopefully two pence is the worst that we'll see on this situation. 
Next up is Klontoff, which uh, has its fans, and uh, here you can see that some of them are trying to pick the shares off the bottom end of the range. Uh, good candle, well, decent candle yesterday, and uh, good push through the now rising 50-day moving average today. That's around uh, 037 Above that, we're looking for the shares to retest the 06 area, perhaps by the end of next month. Best case, obviously, up to uh, 007, which is that uh, December resistance line projection. But the key here is that we stay above the 50-day line and that it keeps on rising. Uh, the next stock is a requested stock, which I've been asked to or instructed to look at. Uh, uh, at current levels rather than when the shares have already risen, which is uh, an interesting thing to say. Uh, here we've got the shares back above the April, the initial April support. They're at 8.5 pence. End of day close or end of week close above 8.5. And, and then we could be heading up to as high as 11 pence of that broadening triangle base from back in January. If you're cautious, you wait for the 50-day line now at 9.3 pence or 9.4 pence to be broken, which is, I suppose, what I would be doing. Next up is uh, Eastar Resources, which seems to be going from uh, good to even better. In fact, uh, the shares hitting our uh, second target there uh, at uh, around the uh, 4.3 pence level. In fact, right on the nose. You don't see that uh, anywhere else, I think. And uh, here, looking for the shares perhaps to fill the gap down to 3.5 pence. While they're above 3.5, they're looking for 4.4 pence or 4.3 pence to be hit again. You can see the main resistance on the chart here up at six pence so it's surprising that we're not already up there and hopefully best case scenario would be that we hit the six pence zone uh, accompanied by today's jork news and uh, sale or farm out speculation by the end of next month onto a stock that i normally never look at because uh, the charting tends to be absolutely horrible but in the case of forexpo we have uh, something to hang our hat on we've got two unfilled gaps to the upside uh, so far this week which is quite a coup i would th hope hope that uh, that cannot fail as a signal the neckline resistance here around uh, 49 pence and above that we're looking at the top of that rising trend channel base as high as 60 pence over the next couple of weeks or even sooner moving along to uh, a stock which uh, has appeared here quite a few times now which is kazira here Kazira finally breaking the 200-day moving average for the first time since July. That's around 0.61. And we're looking for 0.76 over the next couple of weeks to take the shares back to where they were last summer. Upside valid while we hold above recent 0.52 support quite logically. Kavango keeps on rising and keeps on trucking. We're helped along by uh, head honcho there, uh, Ben Turney. Uh, two unfilled gaps to the upside so far this month. And uh, we're fast approaching... Our second target there at uh, 1.37 pence. Third target now up to as high as 1.65 pence by the end of next month or even sooner. In fact, the way things are going, we could get up there by the end of this month. Ideally, we stay on the right side of the uh, gap floor there at 1.05 pence. On to Metals 1, where uh, I've got this slight feeling that there's going to be a turnaround here. Possibility of a broadening triangle base top of the uh, broadening triangle there at 1.9 pence and uh, the reason for the enthusiasm is the or the relative enthusiasm is the way that the shares are finding support so far above the uh, March uh, well the March support there at 1.17 pence the longer we stay above that the greater the chance of a journey towards two pence the sizzle here is the way that we had a low low for April but the RSI remained at the same ultra low levels sub 10 so potentially a turnaround there at Metals 1. Picardo, normally a stock I never look at either. Uh, normally too big for us to look at here. But uh, here we've had uh, a very good setup in the form of a uh, bear trap island reversal. So gapping down earlier in the month and then gapping up to start this week. That suggests that the initial target here will be back up to 414 pence perhaps by the end of next month or even sooner. Ideally, there's no end of day close back below the top of the latest gap at £3.55. So let's see if that situation works. The big picture target here, maybe over the next month or so, is that the shares remain above the uh, top of that gap and head up to £5 plus. Best case, I suppose, it would be by the end of next month. Moving on to um, Panther Metals, and uh, here... Uh, we're just approaching our uh, target again. That was around, well, the rising line there are now around 4.6 pence. 
by 4.6 pence looking for the shares to hit as high as uh, six and a quarter pence by the end of next month the other point to note is that uh, we are about a day away from a golden cross so the 50 and 200 day lines both uh, rising and about to cross hopefully by tomorrow on to the last four and uh, for starting off with physiomics and uh, here see that uh, the shares are breaking through a rising 200 day line around 1.47 pence above that on an end of day close basis looking for a 2.3 pence target by the end of next month punchy call but uh, that it's a rising 200 day line giving us a decent signal quad rise is next and uh, here you can see that um, we've made good on the uh, gap that we have through the 50 day line that's around 1.65 pence in fact it's a bear trap item reversal because we gapped down and then gapped up so hopefully a strong signal there the longer we stay above 1.65 the greater the chance of a move towards three pence plus at the top of that rising june trend channel by the end of next month i uh, was not feeling very confident about sarium because uh, obviously uh, if you look at the chart it's uh, given the bulls a pie in the face on many occasions but uh, here we've had a uh, gap to the downside in fact two gaps to the downside last month and then a gap closed by signal around uh, 14 pence above that we are currently looking for the shares to hit 45 pence by the end of next month helped along by uh, yesterday's hammer candle and today's unfilled gap to the upside through the 50-day moving average basically the stop loss at the moment the 50-day line around uh, that 25 pence level Finishing off uh, with uh, Tower Resources, and uh, here you can see that uh, we've been bumping along the bottom for quite some time. The pattern here, probably not the broadening triangle that I drew uh, a couple of months ago, but actually more of a rising trend channel base, although that doesn't mean that uh, we won't hit the uh, target there. But uh, currently above the uh, floor of the channel there around uh, 0.19, looking for up to 0.27 by well, I suppose over the next couple of weeks that's it for me today more updates tomorrow